Hi guys, so uh, here I am with the Elementals hard at work. This is Storm Barra. It's just blowing everything. Maybe the wind noise is blocking me out. I don't know, but uh, I wanted to quickly show you outside on this amazing day. <laughs> so I came up the hill a bit. Here it is. There's some sheep over there. I love all God's creatures, but those ones ate all my leeks, so I don't love them quite as much. Wow. This weather's a bit too crazy to be out in, quite honestly, but uh, <laughs> I like to get my steps in, you know. I wear a fitness tracker and it wants me to do steps. So uh, here I am doing my steps. Well, that's better. Back in the warm, or at least reasonably warm. Oh. Okay, so. All that storminess caused a few problems and uh, I was without electricity for a little while, but uh, well, it's taken a while for things to warm up again. And look, there's a, a cat here, hello, coming to say hi. Because she likes to be a lot warmer than she's gonna be if she's not sitting on me at the moment. Still, right, let's do a quick three card spread. Well, not a spread really, because I'm gonna hold them up in my hands, but let's do three cards and we're gonna use Kyle Gray's Keepers of the Light for these guys. Okay, so let's just split the deck and take one, two, and three out of the middle at random almost, but uh, the more random you leave it, the more your guides can do. That's the plan. Okay, so we'll fan them out now. Come on, come on, come on. And we're gonna go one, two and three so pick the one that shouts out to you pick me pick me okay you can always rely on your sort of inner psychic senses to drive you towards the correct card okay so put the other two down and we'll start with this one and by the way let's have a quick look at the picture on the back of these cards it's the same on all three of them it's the same on the whole uh, deck it's a vesica pisces basically surrounded by amazing other things and an even bigger vesica pisces around the outside and uh, it's just a reminder of you know the, the nature of anything psychic really which is all to do with the nature of life is very closely tied to uh, the lives we lead and it's about giving birth you know giving birth to ideas giving birth to the next phase of life it's the old thing uh, tomorrow is the first day of the rest of your life so whichever card you've chosen this is some advice from Kyle Gray's Keepers of the Light deck, all about going forward. And this one is faith. It says humanity and benevolence. And there is faith. She is Archangel Michael's twin flame. That's who she is. And uh, I'm forever grateful to uh, Monad, who uh, one of our faithful views, who actually told me that because I didn't know who faith was. Uh, faith is saying humanity and benevolence, like I said, and she says, stay calm, trust the good in yourself and others, see the light in the world. Now then, in the Northern Hemisphere, we haven't got anything much like as much light as we would like at the moment, have we? Because um, we're in the darkest days of winter, I'm recording this on, uh, this is the 9th of December, and I'm recording this bit so uh, we've got what, 12 days until uh, the longest night and after that the light starts coming in so it is coming back it's just that this time we've really got to have faith that it's going to come back because uh, some people get quite depressed by the lack of light you know and that's a real shame uh, well, it's always you know, so unfortunate when people get depressed because there is always something better to come. And we're only going through these dark days so that we can have, you know, the, the light coming back in. If it was the same all the time, maybe people wouldn't get so depressed. But then maybe they would because uh, it'd be kind of boring, wouldn't it? It'd be rather dull. But yeah, stay calm. Trust the good in yourself and others. See the light in the world. So staying calm is really important, especially with the uh, the way the world is at the moment. So much scary stuff going on and so much weirdness. You know, it is very odd. Uh, if, like me, you, you watch other stuff on YouTube as well as the, uh, the psychic and uh, mediumship sort of uh, channels, that uh, so many of us love. If you watch the other stuff, you'll see there's people preparing for 
Goodness knows what, nobody knows what's to come. It's really kind of quite a freaky time at, uh, at the moment. So we've got to stay calm and trusting the good in yourself and others. Can you see where it says that? Trust the good in yourself and others. That is so important because we are all made with goodness, you know. Uh, people who commit evil acts in some way let the evil, let the dark take over. But every human being has some good in them. Important to remember that. And 99.9% uh, .9 of human beings are basically good people. Yeah, um, we hear so much about um, the troubles in the world caused by not so good people. But uh, if you just kind of think of the, like the bad people you might have seen in the news today, for example, it'll be like, you know, single figures around the whole world of people who've done these crazy things, these bad things. So it's important to trust other people. It's important to be careful, of course, but it is important to trust other people. So stay, well, what is it? Stay calm, trust the good in yourself and others and see the light in the world. And that light, like I say, is coming back in fast and furious. Well, not so furious, but nice and fast anyway. Card number two is this one. It's Kuan Yin, care and compassion. Kuan Yin, very, 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 very meaningful among the ascended masters. They're all meaningful, of course. You know, all their lives have meanings, all their ascensions have meanings. But Kuan Yin, care and compassion, a beautiful, gentle energy here. And Kuan Yin is saying, choose to be love, do what is right for everyone involved. Offer a helping hand. So this is speaking to your situation at the moment. And if you chose all three, this is very much at the centre of what needs to be thought about. <laughs> you come in and say hello again. She was never far. She was never far, but she is back. The great Marcy cat. Here we go. Right. So, yeah, care and compassion. Choose to be love. It is a choice, actually, you know, and... um. If you haven't chosen to be love, it, it doesn't mean there's no love in you. It doesn't mean you're not a loving person. But making the conscious choice to be love, to channel that amazing love, which is always around us in the, uh, the universe. I was going to say from the universe, but we're in the universe all the time. This is what we so often forget. We're in the universe all the time and that love is around us. Choosing to be love just allows us to channel that love in a way that the human psyche and the human soul is really strongly set up to do. It says, do what is right for everyone involved. Well, everyone involved in what, I hear you ask? Well, that's just your situation, whatever it is. And uh, you may sort of think, well, this is a guy across the pond in the UK just sort of saying this and it could be anything and it could mean anything to anyone. We're all in a situation, you know, and I'm sure everyone watching this can relate to, you know, everyone involved in the thing that means something to them, you know. Important to see that, important to realise that. And it says, offer a helping hand. And uh, this goes with choosing to be love, you know. If we can choose to offer a helping hand and we can bring a lot of calm and a lot of happiness into the situations around us. We really can, whoever we are and wherever we are. Because this is human nature, you know. No matter how far apart we might be, brought together by YouTube, this is human nature. So there is card number two, Kuan Yin. And card number three is this one. And I can already see this is going to kind of bring a lot of healing in because this is holy, am holy Amethyst and it is Divine Alchemy. And Holy Amethyst card says, move beyond current challenges. Focus on what you desire. Hmm. And that really is uh, two pieces of advice that go very well together, actually, because I think we all want to move beyond current challenges, really. I'm really looking forward to in about an hour's time when the heating's really started to work and I can take my, you know, outdoor clothes off and sitting in my bedroom in my outdoor clothes at the moment while the house heats up. But uh, I was out today doing various things in between uh, filming this morning out in the rain in the field. Uh, I, I took Lee and her friend to uh, a doctor's appointment, basically, and that sort of took the whole day up. So I'm sitting here really looking forward to the immediate future, which I know will happen. I can hear the heating sort of bubbling up already, and I'm sure it won't be long. But 
That is the current challenge, and it is going to pass, but that is the current challenge that's on my mind at the moment. There are many other challenges in my life, of course, not least how to keep uh, sheep out of my garden. And I'm really going to have to do something about that next summer. Sheep are like um, a winter thing in this part of the world. Uh, they, uh, the, it's if, trying to think of a way of explaining it. The sheep are on tack, which is a word that we use. Maybe you use it too, I don't know. But we certainly use it in this farming community. Um, because the farm might be used by other creatures or it might be used for growing crops through the summer months. But in the winter, it'll go out to tack and the sheep will wander around on it eating the grass. So they kind of mow the grass, they keep the, the, the grass nice and tidy. And of course, they leave their mess on there, which fertilizes it and then they go. So I grow all my stuff again next summer. And as soon as the winter comes, they'll be back trying to get in. So I'm thinking about kind of, you know, putting a fence up and what I can do. That's a challenge. Getting warm is a challenge. We all face challenges all the time. This is the really every every day when we get out of bed there are going to be a series of challenges. Really they're what make life worth living actually because there's nothing quite as satisfying as being able to move beyond a challenge. So move beyond current challenges. Focus on what you desire. Think about what you really want because as you're rising to the challenges of life Whatever you do in the face of those challenges is kind of conditioning the way things are going to be afterwards. And, uh, you know, put yourself first. Nothing selfish at all about that. And this is holy amethyst. So there really is healing coming in here. So that is card number three. And with that, friends, thank you very much for watching. I will be back soon. I really, really hope to get a live stream going uh, soon. I still don't have the uh, computer that someone was definitely, definitely going to send me about three weeks ago. No reason anyone should send me a computer, but I, I was under the impression there was one coming. Uh, it doesn't seem to be here, but um, I have two old computers that I'm going to try and build into one good one and add some new RAM and uh, you know all that technical stuff. Uh, I've been watching some videos on how to do this, and I hope I'll get a live streaming machine going again very soon. Not just in time for Christmas, in time for like two weeks before Christmas, and we're nearly there now. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed that reading, friends. I will see you again very soon in a future video. Do hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, because uh, if you do that, and ring the bell as well, click the bell for all notifications, then uh, you'll find out every time a video comes up from right here on Merlin's Mountain. And I'm feeling like I'm really channeling Merlin, actually, because I'm growing a beard and I've got a hood on. Very Merlin-esque, I think. Uh, so, yeah, do drop a like on this one if you've enjoyed it. Leave me a comment. We'll share the journey. And from Marcy and me, nighty-night, or whatever time of day it is, Hope you have a brilliant rest of your day, rest of your night, whatever. And I'll see you again very soon. Love and light, blessings and peace.